Critics call photo radar a cash cow, squeezing extra money out of Albertans. Now, the government is responding by limiting how cities and towns can use the technology, making it more difficult for them to make money off of speeders. Next April, photo radar will not be allowed on roads with rapid changes in speed and on roads with less than 50 kilometers per hour speed limit. However, this does not apply to school, playground or construction zones. Photo radar in construction zones will be restricted to only when workers are present and photo radar in school zones will be restricted to only when school is in session based on municipal bylaws. Edmonton's director of safe mobility says it's too early to tell how impacted the city will be by these changes, but believes their mobile speed enforcement in residential zones will be hit the hardest after they were dropped to a default speed limit of 40 kilometers an hour. Just under 120 locations have that 40 kilometers speed limit. Drivers who tend to put the pedal to the metal will also no longer receive multiple tickets if the speeding offenses happen within five minutes of each other. These controls that we're implementing in the guidelines should resolve some of those issues with fishing holes and with speed traps. Alberta is also restricting the use of automated traffic enforcement by requiring municipalities to justify each location where photo radar is deployed. We actually already provide all kinds of information to them as a part of our ongoing review of sites that are enforced. Uh, that includes things like speed data, violation data, etc. All photo radar vehicles must be clearly visible, a switch already made by Edmonton with their bright yellow trucks. Last year, photo radar in Edmonton generated $50 million, which is reinvested for traffic safety programs. But they weren't the only ones benefiting. That was the city's portion. Uh, more than 50% goes back to the province of Alberta. The rest then comes to the city and is shared with the city and with the Edmonton Police Service. Alberta is also extending their two-year freeze on any new photo radar technology until next December to allow these changes to take place. In Edmonton, Laura Kroos, City News.